Hello, welcome to the program. My name is John Tate. This is my sister, John Tall. Hello. Um, where did you go this summer? Well, I went canvassing um, in Mariana, Florida, and also in Mobile, Alabama this summer. Wow, would you be willing to share um, your experiences there? Yes, I would love to. I have a testimony where um, that day it was raining really hard. It was pouring, um, to be honest. But, you know, I, I was not uh, going to be discouraged. And I went to this door and I met this man. And um, he was really nice. I showed him the desire of ages. And he was interested. You know, he asked me to come out of the rain, you know, to stand on the, um, his step. Um, and we began talking more about um, the desire of ages. And he, he loved it. He said, yes, we're Christian people here. Um, and then I, sh I proceeded to show him the great controversy. Um, and then he said, you know, then he began sharing with me um, a documentary that he had watched the <coughs> night previously. Um, and it, um, basically what he was sharing with me is that this um, documentary called Days of Noah, which is an Adventist documentary on Netflix. Um, he watched it and it's a four part series and it outlines all the great controversy. Um, so, so when I heard him um, explaining all of that, it was, it was as if I was like, Lord, this is a divine appointment right here. You know, I met this man just in time. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, um, I said, sir, this is the book that you're talking about right here, right here that I have in my hand. He was like, what? Wow. And then, you know, he learned about the Sabbath and said that, oh, he's not going to do, you know, um, go to church on Sundays anymore. Um, and then he called his mother like seven hours before I had met him too. Um, you know, called his mother and said, no, we shouldn't go to church on Sunday. That's not what the Lord commanded us to do. You know, the ch um, Catholic Church can't just change the, um, um, the day of worship because God didn't say that in his word. And then he was, um, then his mother was like, so what are you going to do, you know? And, and then he asked her, you know, is there a church that goes, to worships on the Sabbath? Um, and she told him that there is a Sunday Adventist church. Mm -hmm. But I, she said, um, in her words, she was like, well, uh, I think they're, you know, they are um, Jehovah's Witnesses. And then he's like, so he doesn't really, he didn't really know, you know, for sure if, you know, if he could trust some of the Adventists. But I'll tell you, it's so, it's so wonderful because the Lord um, brought me there. I told him, sir, no, 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 we are completely, you know, some of the Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses you know, two nice people, but we're completely different. <laughs> One, we don't keep the same day of worship. Two, Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You know, they believe that he was a created being. And also, you know, so I just began to outline the, different di um, the differences between um, Sunday Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses. And then he, he's like, wow, really? And he was like, wow, he's like, confirmation. And I told him, you know, sir, I'm Seventh-day Adventist. Mm. And then when he heard that, he was like, oh, what? You know, and, and I was like, yeah. And you could tell that this man was starting to tear up because he couldn't, he just, he, he's just blown away to, um, to realize what God did in this space of 24 hours. Wow. What God is doing, you know. First, he revealed to him the truth about his word, revealed to him, you know, about the Sabbath, revealed to him about the Mark of the Beast. Revealed, he knows the Mark of the Beast is Sunday. He knows everything about the, you know, the great controversy. I said, sir, everything. He knows about 1844. You know, he knows about everything. And it was so powerful um, to see that God could use me to witness to this man, to bring him the books that he needed right there on time. Mm -hmm. So he ended up, at the end of um, all of it, he got... Um, six books from me, um, but also not just him, you know, um, but his wife as well. She was like, wow, I can't believe God did that, you know, she, cause, because um, she said that, you know, in her life, it, but because she's with him, she's seen God work in such a, a marvelous way, and she wants to be able to, you know, um, to stand with him and to support, to support him and to see wow. God too. And so it was really, it was really powerful to see how God, you know, use that circumstances for me to, you know, meet them. Uh, me, no, me, just a lowly canvasser. And the, the, the wonderful thing is I met them around 6 o'clock um, and they had an appointment to go to at 6 o'clock, you know, and I, I left there around 6.32. 
But, you know, his wife all of a sudden says, oh, no, we forgot, you know, they had to go somewhere to help a friend. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thinking back, I'm realizing that if God had not, um, you know, helped the wife to forget that they had an appointment, I would not have met them. Wow. And so it was a, a, a divine orchestration for God to say, no, not yet, that th these people can wait. No is the time. Because he said, you know, you know, I can, um, no, there's no time wasted with God, you mm -hmm. know? He, he, he was, you could tell that there was a, a, a ripe fruit, mm -hmm. a very ripe fruit. And it was so powerful, you know? We kept in contact. He wanted me to watch the, um, the documentary as well. But you can tell that the harvest is ripe and people are waking up, especially in this time, you yes, know, realizing true. what God is doing and they want to be a part of it too. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's such a blessed experience. Mm -hmm. If you want to have experiences like those, sign up at OHC.org. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.